coming up tomorrow night, and uh, they are as, uh, three of the young ladies who are members of the basketball team, Lebanon Valley College. And uh, we have here with us uh, Lindsay Nice, also Gabrielle Voss, and Amanda Dodia. Good morning, ladies. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Mike Eversole <laughs> mentioned a little while ago that you were uh, on uh, five-hour energy or something this morning because of the fact that uh, you're not used to getting up so early in the morning. Was he just uh, shooting off his mouth, or is that true? <laughs> Yeah, we're not really morning people, but uh, we're awake now. Well, the, uh, the basketball team, Lebanon Valley College uh, uh, ladies, uh, have been uh, having some really good seasons lately. What about this year? Um, we're doing really well this year. We are 19-2 overall and 8-0 in conference. And we continue. We're going to keep winning, and we're going to win the big game tomorrow. All right. Now, there is a, there is a basketball game tomorrow night, even, even though there's so much other stuff going on. Is this uh, all this... Uh, the activities for the Cancer Society. Is that uh, distracting uh, to the game, or does that just add to the excitement? Is it, does it make it more exciting, or is it hard to concentrate on, um, on the actual game itself? Of, of all people there, it is really distracting, but it really pumps us up, I think, mostly. Um, it's exciting to see everyone from the community come in and watch us play, so we get really excited. I mean, the nerves are kind of there, but uh, we just have a lot of fun with it, so. Now, what kind of crowd do you get to, for, the, for the girls' games at LBC? Do you have? You mentioned that I guess probably more people will come to this one because of, of all the, uh, the other extra curricular activities that are going on there. But uh, normally on, a, on any given night for a girls basketball game, what kind, what kind of people, uh, what kind of crowds do you get there? On a normal night, I'd say we get a couple hundred people, but for the pink game it's definitely much more. I think last year there was over 1,500 just at one game. Uh, the people, mostly other students, or uh, actually people come from uh, from the neighborhood? There are a lot of community members that come out, especially for the pink game, but normal nights, there's a lot of students, parents, and of course the community members. All right, now tomorrow night is the fifth annual uh, pink game to benefit the American Cancer Society in Lebanon, and also this year the Penn State Hershey Cancer Institute. Who puts all this stuff together? The, do you, the, the members of the team actually do this, or do you have uh, uh, your uh, uh, sports department to take care of making all these arrangements, or just how much involvement do you, do you, the girls of the team, actually do? I would say the girls, we don't really do as much as everybody else does. Sports information does a lot. Coach does a lot for us. Um, American Cancer Society does a lot. The people for, um, at our school who are in charge of Colleges Against Cancer really organize the game for us, and we pretty much are just there to promote the game even more and, of course, play in it. But you're the star attraction. So <laughs> all right. So now there is a game, and the game starts at 6 o'clock, and then all the stuff happens at halftime. At the end of the game, the, the jerseys that you wear will be auctioned off. That's an ongoing process, I guess, uh, online and, right. and on the scene. Uh, other uh, raffle tickets will be sold, and uh, do you know what some, what some of the prizes are that they have to give away this year? Yeah, there's a lot of gift certificates to restaurants like the Batdorf and J&S and other pizza places. And also at halftime, um, if you're 18 or older, you can take a half-court shot and have the opportunity to win a Chevy Volt with a three-year lease. That's you know, compliments of Frederick Chevrolet. You have to, I assume, you have to buy a, uh, a ticket to uh, get into that drawing. Is that right, it's a works? raffle. It's um, I oh, know it's just a half-court shot. But I mean, in order to qualify to, to be selected, oh, right, right, right. selected to, to to actually get to do that, I guess you have to. Uh, but all all the money goes to the uh, Cancer Society and the Penn State Hershey Cancer Institute. Amazingly enough, it's free to get in, so you yes, can just is. go and, and enjoy the whole thing. Uh, but uh, they'll take up a collection at the door, probably, raffle tickets, prizes to be given away. And the, uh, the website, the, the school's website is pretty good as far as uh, coverage of this. You know, yeah. Lots of information and pictures. GoDutchman.com and click on the pink game. And uh, hopefully by the end of the night, tomorrow night, uh, you'll have a lot of money. And you'll be 9-0 in the conference, or what, 19 and 20 and 22. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Keep track of all that. All right. And of course, Mike will be up in the rafters, making a fool of himself. And so make sure you make oh, a funny face. down the floor. And making a, <laughs> make a make a face at him, and, and good luck, well, ladies. Thank you very much for coming in here today. Thank, thank you. you. It's about 16 minutes away from nine o'clock here at 1270. It's time for Clark Howard.